If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. How to grow my network. And when I say how to grow my network, I'm just not talking about where you go, but I'm talking about specifically actionable steps. How do you grow a meaningful list of relationships with people that you may not have right now? So, and I know you all will agree with me when I say this, there is a direct correlation between your net worth and your net work. And by the way, in addition to Crystal, Chaffee is one of the best networkers I've ever met on the planet as far as having an exact system, step-by-step, uh, -step, how to actually grow it and nurture those relationships. So first of all, one thing you said, Tim, that's very, very important. You said the word volunteer. So, so, so I want everybody to get this. And by the way, Crystal and myself, um, Banjo and Erica, who are also Platinum and Mastermind members, uh, at the live event, which is two weeks from today, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but at the live event, we do a drill down session at the live event on this topic. So we're sort of going to be touching the hem of the garment, if you will, here in this session, but we're really going to drill down at the live event, really, really spell it out and flesh it out. So one word you said, Tim, was volunteer. So if you want to grow your network of people, meaningful relationships in a very meaningful way, then, and we say it all the time, you want to be a go-giver, you want to be a leading with a servant's heart, and you want to get involved, there's a key word, you want to get involved in groups to where you can serve and get to meet other people. Now, now, uh, Mert, I think it was, yeah, Mert says, and what you said, Mert, was very, very important. Mert in the chat said, when I worked on my warm list, that is making, like we teach our Platinum and Mastermind members, how to make that list of people on your warm list to reach out to. When Mert worked on her warm list, she realized how many potential private lenders she knew that she didn't even think you did. So right there is a big point. I want to stop right there before we get into networking. When you go through the actionable steps that myself and the team leadership gives you on growing your network and identifying who might be a potential uh, private lender in your own warm market with people that you've got some kind of relationship with, I promise you, when you go through that exercise, like Mert just says, you are going to find out and you're going to identify that, oh, guess what? Oh, my lands, I actually do have quite a few people in my cell phone, on my email list, in my social media that I could be actually teaching right now. So when we say teaching, remember, we're not asking, begging, chasing, or persuading. We're putting on our teacher hat right? Our private money teacher hat. And we're sharing and we're teaching people in our own network what private money is all about. So back to one thing you said, Tim, you said volunteering. So um, Crystal, I'm glad your audio is working because we're going to, we're going to dive deep here for a little bit in a little bit, but as to the different groups that, you know, you can get involved in the different groups you've gotten involved in, but that's a big, big uh, important lesson to know going in up front. You're not joining these groups up front to get, to receive. You're joining these groups up front to serve, to bring value, to volunteer as to how you can help out. And you know what? The cream rises to the top. When you are offering first to serve and be a volunteer in these different groups, then you're going to rise to the top. I want to go ahead and let's see, and Tim, something else you said, not only did you say volunteering, but you also did name church. 
So if you are a member of your church, if you're a member of a church, then we have a specific way that we teach on how you can actually teach people that you know that how they can become involved and become a private lender. So volunteering, teaching, serving. Uh, I want to cover these other comments in the chat before we uh, dive into the specifics. So Dan, Dan says, take a risk, put yourself out there, set a goal of one presentation a week. The worst they can say is no. about a goal of one presentation a week. What kind of presentation are you talking about? Yeah. Hey, thanks for asking my opinion. This is the second call I've been on. So it's great to meet you via the World Wide Web here. Um, I actually used to be a fourth grade teacher. Um, that's what I got my degree in. And um, because of some things, uh, I met my wife at church. Our debt to income was horrible. It took me six years to graduate. She went to a private college. So I got into sales. Uh, God's been good to me. I've had fantastic mentors, um, business coaches, things like that. I've been investing for 15 years in real estate. So I really enjoy talking about real estate. In fact, since I read your book in two months, I've raised over $500,000. Ooh, mercy. Yeah. yeah I got well, now I met Dan Can. We got to stop right there. Since you raised over $500,000 in two months from just reading the book, you deserve the Private Money Academy very sophisticated <laughs> golf clap right there. So everybody right. give, give Dan Can the sophisticated golf clap right there. Way Amen. to go. Well, love it. I like well, Now, I want everyone to take note of the nugget that Dan just shared. And one nugget that he just shared was he came up with a uh, with a fun statement that says, I teach people how to make money in their sleep. I love it being totally passive. And um, so lots of nuggets are Dan. Also, as you were talking, Dan, it reminds me of another very, very important principle. We all know who people want to do business with. People want to do want to do business with people that they like and they trust. We all know that, right? Well, what better way? And there's no hidden agenda here. This is all genuine. This is all genuine. But what better way for someone to come to know you and trust you than to be seen as a person that is volunteering and serving with no strings attached whatsoever, right? I don't know a better or quicker way for the for the trust factor to, you know, go out the ceiling. Dan, thank you so much for, uh, for sharing your story and for sharing some nuggets there. Um, Ashley says, I'm trying to figure out how to get private money. That's why I'm here. Way to go. You got it. You're in the right place. And I uh, saw a couple of other a verse to this idea of networking and really didn't quite see the, uh, the benefit in it. And, uh, I remember, I remember us meeting in the conference room, um, when we were talking about this, talking about, you know, how to grow your network and, and, and these principles that we're talking about. So first of all, share, share with everybody first, Crystal, why did you feel like, network by the way folks i will say this then i'll finish my question i say the more money you waller in the more money sticks to you now what do i mean by that the more uh the more people that you're hanging around with that has investment capital or retirement funds obviously just passively you're going to attract that to you but crystal are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's jconner.com slash money guide 
and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconnorcom slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.